Hello everyone, um, but this is a video I'm recording especially for a little artist called Lydia. He's not so little because it's her 11th birthday. So happy birthday Lydia. Um, hopefully you've got your SG art pack <laughs> and um, yeah, you'll be able to paint along to this little painting exercise. Um, yeah. So should we start? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do one of um, one of my choppy chop stencils. Now, if you are um, doing this from home and you want this as an image, did, was that long enough? Okay, you can take a screenshot of the of it. <laughs> You know what I mean. So um, yeah. So we start off. Oh, and and do you wanna pan up to that? <laughs> this is a finished version which I did on a frame, but that gives you an idea of what we're up, what we're going for. So okay. <laughs> okay. So um, first things first. So what I would recommend is you print that out and then hmm, how would they transfer it to a canvas or a I haven't quite thought this through have I <laughs> how would you do it oh god do it on paper on what just do the painting on paper you could do it on a paper girl wrinkly um, you could print it and then cut it out, like cut out the main shapes and then put it on and then use it as a stencil on the canvas or on some cards. Yeah. Okay. So I'm starting with blocking in the background. And by the way, it's really cold in the studio, hence the hat. Now I'm using, I don't know if you've got a palette knife, Lydia, but I'm using a palette knife um, to mix the paint because you just get a bit more control and you can really squish um, the colours into each other. That's a technical term, squish. <laughs> do. Right, don't be scared. Use a big brush for this bit because we're just going to um, slap it on. Are you, can you see that clearly? Do you want to go a bit more behind me? <laughs> Please. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're not being too um, precious about it. A bit of water to loosen up the paint. So, I mean, the idea of these stencils is that they're just kind of fun to paint and you don't get to Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Concerned with detail. Yeah. Just have fun. Yeah, it's just like have fun, be loose, be free. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> be <laughs> be loose. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm putting the, hang on, I think I will go up to the edges, I mean on that one I didn't, did I? No, well, maybe I won't. Play. 
nice. So yeah, we've got a bit of colour on the background. There we go. Always put your brush in water. I'm oh, I'm using acrylic paints for this. Um, you can use whatever paints you've got to hand. Now, as it's actually an apple flavored chopper chart, um, I'm gonna do it green, but this is only a guide. You can turn that into any fruit you want. You can do a strawberry one or an orange one. Um, so yeah, it's up to you. Right, I usually start, I'm gonna put some yellow down, but it's gonna be a... No, because you'll lose the yellow, won't you? Um, I won't do that yet. Right, I'm going to... bit of red. And I'm going to do... the um, Chopper Chops logo. Which I have done many, many times. I need to change the paint really already. A little bit blue. The water. Oh, the water. <laughs> oh, right, glasses off. Business time. So. So you've got the information down already on the stencil so although that bit's a bit I can't really see what's going on there um How many times I've painted this logo over the years? Hundreds. <laughs> Should be able to do it with my eyes closed. Oh. Don't worry if you make mistakes, because we're going to do like splatters and things and. It's not about complete precision. It's about letting the paint do what it wants and just having some fun. <laughs> right, this is tricky because the less room's gone, but I mean, you, you could just block it all in red. Still looks cool. Okay, that could probably do with another coat, but I'll have to wait till it's dry a bit. Does that look all right? Yep. <laughs> oh, I know what I could get, the actual painting that it's based on. Oh, go, if go over there, it's up in the, next to Betty. Oh, just show it. Yeah. it was red and green was it red and green well, right. we use... the opposite to that one so. oh okay all right we'll put the red in here then Oh, 
So just like so, you don't have to be hugely precise. It's just about a bit of red over there. You're just getting a sense of the sweets. Okay. Um, around the logo? Oh, the red around the logo. Oh, yeah. Um, hang on. Oh, it doesn't really matter. Red. What's going on there? That doesn't look right. Oh, it goes around there. Oops. Look at that. We said not to worry about mistakes. Well, I. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you don't have to worry about mistakes, but I um, can't help myself. <laughs> um, what next? <laughs> Green. for a really limey green. That's good for the drumstick. Um. <coughs> this is just the... Uh, in the apple a bit. Just pop in the green all through in the wrapper. And you reckon the drumstick too? Don't know, maybe a bit of that too. What? And the red on that. Okay, and then I'm going to get a darker green. Show my selection of paints. <laughs> Got quite a lot to choose from. <laughs> but you can mix all of these colours. Yeah, they're all quite. So I'm just gonna go over the yellow of the shapes of the apples. Can you still see them on the, the film? Because the lime green kind of... Just about. Yeah, I can only just about see them.
Okay. This is the same colour green. A round drumstick. So, I think we'll just do a few um, what am I thinking? <laughs> oh, just a few darker green. Just to define. You've got the creases and that. Just to get a bit of um, tonally, always get shadow. Okay. Now for the yellow. Hopefully your red would have dried. You might want to leave it a bit longer if it hasn't dried. I don't think mine has. So I'm going to... Oh. Just be careful around the lettering, but... If you've let your red dry, you'll much be much easier to block this in. I don't know if this yellow is bright and um, deep enough. What do you think? A bit lemony, isn't it? Mm. Oh well. <laughs> It's not going to be photorealistic, is it? No. It isn't. So it's down to interpretation. Yeah. Could have done it purple. Yeah, it's true. You can do it any colour you want. Up to you. Okay. So. left to do is some splattering. Not doing any drumstick lettering? Um, no. Yeah. <laughs> we can kind of see. Yeah. Um, do this flat you might want to wait until your paint's dry you'll get a better effect when you do this but you basically make the paint quite watery so it's quite thin And then you splat. I just love the effect you get with doing this. Green. Mix it up. 
I love that green against the blue. Oh, sorry. Sorry, you just missed me. <laughs> the more watery you do it, the better it actually get more spray. I tend to do the splats around the areas that are that colour. Just bash the brush. You're getting that action in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, just have fun doing it. Um, it's just, yeah, it's just a fun painting exercise you based on some of my work. So um, have a brilliant rest of your birthday, Lydia, and hope to see you soon. And for everyone else, happy painting.